Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So I'm going to be talking about Apple's latest announcement. Now, this is pretty exciting to me because you guys know I'm a huge Apple fan when it comes to computing. Uh, I was a long time Windows user and then maybe seven years ago, eight years ago, I don't know. Ooh, it's probably been more than that. Ooh. I switched over to using a Mac and I've never looked back. Um, but uh, this video is about the M2 versions that they just released now. Uh, straight to the point, I did order the Mac Mini M2 and I got the 8 gig, 256 gig version. And Jay, why did you get that? Well, I already have a lot of accessories for the Mac Mini and it's the same body. So I already have an external hard drive casing and dock uh, and I already have 512 gigs uh, external storage to put on. So I am good on that. I already have the latest Apple keyboard and trackpad. Uh, but so this is this is just going to be so fantastic. So I already have the 14-inch uh, MacBook Pro M1 Pro. Now there is an M2 Pro, and I'm considering trading that in. However, uh, even though I, I got a huge discount on my current Mac MacBook Pro, it's, it's sitting right there. Uh, but um, I still don't know if I want to sell it for 800 bucks. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a two thousand dollar computer. While I didn't pay two thousand dollars. I sold my Mac Mini and then I got a big discount for government and I just didn't pay, I didn't even pay 700 or 800, I, maybe I paid $800 for my 14 inch MacBook Pro, I'm not even sure. But um, I don't know that I wanna sell it back for 800 bucks. I'd rather just keep it and then if I want to check out the new versions, I could pass this on to someone else in the family and then you know they've got a powerful computer that they can use for years to come if I decide to do that. But I'm starting with the Mac Mini um, M2 baseline model because I've learned that with Apple products, the upsell is great, man. They get you thinking that you need all that stuff. In reality, the Mac Mini baseline version, um, you could get the 512 gig version, but it's it's $800 for people. It's, it's $599 for people who don't have a discount and $799 for people who don't have a discount. If you wanna get like the base models and not get the pro model uh, of the Mac Mini M M2. Uh, but I went with the M2 based on current M2 numbers and I know the Mac Mini will be just fine for me. But what I do on creating on YouTube, I do a lot of one takes and I do very little editing, but the rendering times is where Apple pretty much beats up on everybody. Now, I want to send a special shout out to my man, holla at your boy, LaShawn. He recently picked up an, another Alienware 15, I think it's an R7. You, LaShawn, 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 man. We were having a discussion about this on a stream recently and, um, I didn't know that Apple was going to release it straight to um, uh, to, to YouTube and just put it up for pre-order. But LaShawn, you have an out, sir. I know you say your editing machine is a powerful machine, but you are the only person I know that's in this little area that we talk to on YouTube that does not use a Mac for editing. I highly recommend you ditch that Alienware and go ahead and get a Mac now because the pricing on them is way too affordable to get in. If you have a monitor, just go with the Mac Mini. Now you can go ahead and get the 16 gig version uh, or you can opt to get the Pro version. It's only 1300 bucks and you're getting way more power, way more computer than any Windows computer could possibly. I would go to argue and say the baseline one that I argued is actually more powerful than pretty much rendering in any Windows computer I've ever used. Keep in mind, I have two gaming laptops in there and they are powerful, but the rendering time is horrendous, seriously. 4K editing, even and even though I'm using a paid program uh, to edit my videos, it still takes a long time to render. This is why I stick with Macs, and the Mac Mini will help me clean up my desk again. So I have a tried and true Dell 4K monitor that I absolutely love, and I got it a long time ago. I even bought the new curved Dell that came out in 2022, I believe it was, or 20, late 2021. I bought that one too. Wife uses that one upstairs. Uh, gave the 34-inch widescreen LG to sister-in-law. She needed a new monitor. So I'm using the 4K Dell with the thin bezels and the matte screen. I love that monitor. It's nice and slim. It has no bezels. And it's going to clean up my desk very well. With the Mac Mini, I can hide it under the desk or to the side of the desk. I can stand it up on the side. It's just going to be so nice to be back on a Mac Mini in my area over there. Because I have a very nice desk. And I'm actually thinking about picking up another desk uh, just for 
the creation side of things. I have a really big office and I can go ahead and put me a smaller, like maybe 39 inch, I shouldn't say smaller, I'm a big guy. I have a 48 inch desk right now. It's pretty much baseline for people who have standing rising desks, whatever, or just basic computer desks. 48 seems to be the norm. And I wanted to get like a 39 or a 40 uh, and uh, with the same top and just sit it off to the side for creation so I can mount all the cameras and mics and all those things to that desk. This Mac Mini is going to help me and I think it would do some help for you too. If you have a current Mac Mini, an M1, there's really no need for you to buy the M2. I'm not going to try to sell you on that, but it is kind of crazy how they're lowering the price on the M2 entry level and giving a different option uh, for two hundred dollars more for for more storage, I think that's totally that's obviously a ripoff. When you can add your own external storage via dock and get whatever you can get another five hundred and twelve gig or a terabyte storage and get the docks for Mac Minis. But people who buy that, no shade to them. Shout out to my man Will H or Will's gadgets and more. He picked up the M2 as well, but he got the five hundred and twelve gig version. So shout out to him. He might be he might not want to deal with docks and all that kind of stuff or adding external storage and things like that. But I do. I have 750 gigs of storage that I already can put right onto my Mac Mini from the previous Mac Mini that I had. I have all the docks. Actually, I actually have two docks. So Apple decided to drop this bombshell on us, and I am really excited. I've been saying all year, hey, I wonder if they're going to drop new Macs this year. I was actually, folks, getting ready to pull the trigger. I was on that stream again recently, and I'll shout out to my man Mims. I was on the stream, and I was talking about getting the studio, and I had the studio display and everything right in my cart. And then I get up and boom, Apple drops new products at a much better price. Now, I know knock on the studio, but for what I'm doing, that's a lot of computer. And that's also a lot of computer for people who are not tech savvy. You can have a Mac Mini. I've had four generations of the Mac Mini I think I had. The Mac Minis are some of the most powerful and it's also the best way to get into the Apple ecosystem if you've never used their products, i.e. you don't want to buy an iPhone, you hear about FaceTime, all these different things, you can easily buy you a nice webcam for 20, 30 bucks, boom, buy the Mac Mini M2, you now have FaceTime and all the functionality of everyone who has an iPhone if you don't want to buy an iPhone. You've got iMessage now, it is all the same on a computer. This is the great part about Apple's ecosystem with these entry level. Now, I gotta say, they're actually doing right by consumers years later. And I feel bad for the people who, well, I shouldn't feel bad because I'm one of those people. I've had so many Macs, um, the 5K, I mean, I've, had them, I've had a lot of different versions of the Macs. Several MacBooks, still got, again, the 14 Pro is sitting right here. Uh, MacBook M1 Air upstairs. There's a lot of reasons to go with Apple uh, at this point in the game, because no computers are touching them as far as power and performance versus the dollar that you spend. This now is where Apple has truly taken over the game. Like they took over the, the tablet game with the iPad. The computing side, people are going to say, well, you can't game on it. If you watch the event, um, I think you would see that they talked about gaming. Now, while it's not a gaming machine, I think you can game on it. I don't game. But the power and performance ratio to the dollar, no one is touching this, folks. I am such a huge Apple computer fan. And that's coming from someone who loves and daily drives a Chromebook. But for editing, it's Mac all day. Either you know or you don't. I don't work for Apple. They never sponsor any of my videos. But when I like tech, it doesn't matter what the company thinks of me because I sold all my shares to Apple stock. <laughs> I don't have any more Apple stock. Um, I do a lot of mutual funds now and I do a lot of longevity things to grow the money. So anyway, invest in your stocks. If you're young enough and you can get 401k, make sure you get in on your 401k young enough. So when you get to my age, you'll be able to just sit back and you can get those checks coming in when you retire. Apple has proven to me that they know what they're doing and they've always known what they're doing with the computing side of things. I have no doubt that by the end of this video, those who have crapped on Apple for their pricing or just whatever it may be, or you were skeptical, there are a ton of reasons Mac mini owners of the current generation Mac mini owners or people who just have a Mac mini 
please let these people know that the Mac Mini is the best way to get into the Apple ecosystem hands down. You do not need to buy the 14-inch MacBook Pro, the 16-inch MacBook Pro. Apple has made it so easy now where they're dibbling and dabbling to all computer levels. You, there's so much power in the M1 Mac Mini. Again, you don't really need to upgrade to the M2. Now, I don't have a Mac Mini anymore. Remember, I sold it and I got the 14-inch the MacBook Pro for, you know, being able to move around, like sit in my dining area sometimes and record. You know what I mean? Though the last time I shot a video like this, someone was asking what I used. Well, I basically had, uh, at that time, my 14 Plus is in the other room. I used my 14 Plus to record that video where I was sitting right here um, maybe a week ago. And now I'm using the 13 Pro to record this video. And I basically just have it plugged into the 14 inch MacBook Pro so I can have a viewfinder to use the rear cameras. And that's pretty much it. No special microphones or anything. It's just me using Apple's products for what they are. So with the Mac Mini, folks, I think that's the best deal that they're offering right now on any computer that you could possibly buy. There is no learning curve or anything at this point. You can just plug that bad boy up. You can go buy a Logitech setup. Now, I'm pro Logitech. This mouse costs 99 bucks. I have a couple of them, one for Windows, one I'm using Windows, and one's for Mac. But you don't have to do that. You can get the other sets that I've debuted on the channel where it's a keyboard combination, plug and play for 50 bucks or 80 bucks, and you've got a wonderful keyboard mouse combination. I personally use the latest Touch ID keyboard from Apple with the extended, uh, with the keypad, and I also use the trackpad along with my Logitech mouse. You do what you want to do, but you can have you one of the most powerful setups. You can even hook Mac Minis up to your TVs via HDMI and use it as the biggest monitor you want. You can do whatever you want to do but you can have one of the most powerful setups. And I think I'm probably said this with the M1 when I got it in the previous generation Mac minis, they are the best way to get into Apple's system and really benefit from the power. But you can have a Mac mini for $599, for those that don't have discounts, a wonderful deal, $599, get you a nice 4K monitor or even 1080p with a high refresh rate. You would be nice. It would be nice if you can find you a nice Type C monitor, which you can. Um, you can find a nice Type C monitor. That way, you know you'll just have to plug it into Type C. HDMI is fine, but using Type C for your monitors is probably going to be the, the best experience, I'll say. But find you any monitor you want. You spend whatever you want to spend on the monitor. Get you a nice combination keyboard setup, and you are set, folks. You've got one of the most powerful systems that's running into 2023 and on for several years. Now, granted, I don't need the Mac Mini M2, but I wanted to free myself up and have Mac wherever I go if I want to edit in different places of the house. If I want to go stay and sit in the movie theater and edit, I can do that while I'm watching a movie because I have my 14-inch MacBook Pro. Now, MacBook Pro M2. I'm considering getting the 16-inch. I'm just on the fence about giving up my, and, and I don't, obviously I don't have to sell my, my, my 14 inch. I would just probably pass that on to my wife and then sell them the M1 MacBook that I have upstairs. Probably could do that. That would be a nice upgrade for her having the 14 inch with the M1 Pro. And then I could go ahead and move on to the M2 Pro. I'm considering it. I don't need to do it. The 14 inch MacBook Pro uh, M1 is more than enough power. It is just sick when it comes to processing and rendering times. I recently was using one of my most powerful Windows computers. I have seven laptops and four of them are very powerful for editing. They have graphics cards, they have the RAM, everything. And the most powerful one that I use, well, it was the second most powerful, I'll say, I'll be honest. It was the second one down. It took that computer an hour and 30 minutes to render a 4K video that's about 14 minutes that it took this computer to do it in about nine minutes to 11 minutes. That, folks, is what you get when you switch over to Apple's chips for your computing needs, your editing needs, your creator needs, whatever you want. It's your man, Jay. What do you think about Apple's new launch of their products, man? I'm super excited. Like I said, I pre-ordered day one. I have no regrets on doing so. 
I can clean up my desk area, have more stuff for the bowl system and everything, because I do have a bowl system, but I keep it off to the side, but I'm ready to get things just cleaned up for me in there, and I'm so excited for it. So are you excited for the M2 lineup in the Mac series now with the Pro and the Mini? Let me know in the comments what you ordered. Uh, if you don't have a Mac Mini or you don't have any Mac products, folks, trust me when I tell you, the Mac Mini is the way to go. It's going to outshine any of your Windows computers that you could possibly have. I mean, I'm talking about computers that I have. My computer that I was talking about rendering, that computer cost me $2,200. Bucks. Two of the gaming laptops, one was 19 I think, and the other one was 2100 I don't know. They have use now. I'm not just throwing money out the window. I use those for certain things. Yeah, because Windows handles documents. You know, I use Word on those, and I don't, I don't want to get into that. I have Windows computers for a reason. I didn't have to get the most powerful ones, but I wanted to make sure if I started to do some workflow, I wouldn't get bogged down when it comes to, you know, doing the taxes and all, and all these different things that I use those for. Um, don't judge me. But it's your man, Jay. Did you order any of the new Macs that just came out? I don't want to hear people crying about, oh, Apple, yeah. listen, if you're not interested in Mac products, you shouldn't have clicked on this video because if you rock with me by now, you know I'm a heavy Apple fan when it comes to computers. It is just the way to go. I'm convinced their value is there. I saw somebody complaining. <laughs> they posted it in my chat actually about some guy about just trading and all this other stuff. I don't believe that. I don't believe anything people say because there's no way you're going to take a, I don't know what he was talking about, but the fact of the matter is there's no way Apple would take back something that costs that much for that little. I know because my computer was two grand and, and I, uh, while I didn't pay that two grand, um, still, they're giving me back 800 for this 14 if I decide to sell it, which that would be a stupid move because there's so much power to give up for that price. That's why I said I'd rather just buy the other one because I still get a discount anyway, so it really wouldn't matter. But I'm excited, and I want you to be excited. I love to celebrate with people. Um, I, I love to make sure people know that I'm genuine with what I'm saying because I'm genuinely out here doing this, trying to keep getting I'm trying to get you the best deal. So if you have a Windows computer or you have like a Windows tower or whatever, Replace that ginormous tower with that fan or if you have an SSD and just replace that ginormous tower with an with a M2 Mac Mini or M1. I'm saying the M2 because the M1's price hasn't dropped at all and it's not on Apple's website, but it's in other places. So kind of don't buy the M1 right now. Buy the M2, buy the baseline to start yourself off. I think you'll be happy. What did you buy? Did you buy the M2 Mac Mini or the new MacBook Pro's M2s? Shaman J, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.